Wastewater treatment is essential to protecting public health and the environment. Municipalities and utilities use multiple processes to meet stringent water treatment regulations. Prior to discharging or recycling treated water, unit process number one for a typical treatment facility is called preliminary treatment. The primary goal of preliminary treatment is to remove large debris items as well as smaller gritty material. Many things like rags, bottles, sticks, and plastic items can find their way into the wastewater collection system. These items can damage downstream equipment and must be removed first. One method to remove these items is called screening. This facility has two mechanical bar screens running in parallel. Each screen is mounted in a channel where wastewater or sewerage flows through. The screen traps solid material such as rags or rocks. Bar screens are designed with evenly spaced parallel bars from 3 8 to 2 inches apart. This unit has a spacing of 1 half inch between bars. Any item larger than one half inch is trapped behind the bars. A rake arm, powered by an electrical motor and gearbox, is connected to sprockets and travels downward on a pin rack. Driven by a two horsepower motor and gear reducer, the rake arm slides on the upstream front side of the screen. Debris is brushed from screens and a scraper removes the remains from the rake arms. The contents are discharged into a compactor, squeeze dried, and moved into a bin. Under normal operation, the bar screens run automatically based on pressure differential. When debris accumulates on a mechanical bar screen, the water level upstream rises due to the obstruction. The level sensors evaluate the increased upstream level relative to the downstream level. When the difference in the two water levels reaches the set point, the mechanical bar screen automatically starts. The screenings are discharged directly from the mechanical bar screens into the compactor feed hopper. The auger transports, washes, dewaters, and compresses the screenings. The water removed by this process is returned to the wastewater drain via a collecting sump. Fecal substances are loosened and washed out by a washboard friction process. Material removed by the bar screen, which could cause malfunctioning and blockages in downstream equipment, is retained in the screened material. This material is then sent to its ultimate disposal at a landfill. Now that large debris items have been removed, the next unit process is designed to remove grit. The grit removal facilities eliminate heavy material from the wastewater small enough to pass through the mechanical bar screens. This heavy material includes sand, gravel, and heavy organic materials such as vegetable scraps and coffee grounds that washed into the sewer system. For simplicity, this description refers to this material collectively as grit. Removing this material prevents undue wear and abrasion on the pumps and process equipment downstream of the grit removal facilities. These aerated grit chambers are divided into two segments. Each segment is equipped with a diffuser for injecting air and a hopper for collecting the grit. As the wastewater flows longitudinally through the grit chamber, air is injected so that it produces a rolling action across the width of the chamber. The combined effect of the wastewater flow and the airflow creates a spiral flow pattern. As the wastewater flows along this spiral path, the grit settles out and accumulates in the hoppers. The amount of air sent to the grit chambers is critical. Not enough air will allow organic material to settle out, and too much air will keep the grit in suspension. A butterfly valve is used to throttle airflow to obtain the optimum airflow. This grit chamber operates ideally with an airflow of 200 SCFM. Once the grit settles to the bottom of the hopper, it must be removed. This unit has four grit pumps, two for each chamber. These pumps are designed with an open impeller that is able to pass the larger solids that will settle out in a grit chamber. The impeller is also made with a nickel alloy that is resistant to abrasions from the gritty material. To make sure the pumps and piping do not become clogged with the grit, operators back flush the pumps daily. When the right valves are opened and closed, recycled water from the treatment process forces water through the pump's volute and discharge piping. This clears the lines from any debris. The grit pumps send a slurry of water and grit to a grit classifier. The grit classifier uses an inclined auger mounted inside an inclined tank. Grit slurry enters at the side of the cyclone separator and the resulting circular swirling motion separates the grit and heavy material from the carriage water. The grit discharged into the classifier is washed in the tank. The auger rotates continuously, conveying the washed grit out of the tank into a storage bin. 
the wash water from the classifier and the waste water from the grit slurry are discharged back into the grit chamber. From here, the removed grit material is combined with the material removed from the bar screen and sent to a landfill for ultimate disposal. The wastewater has now been treated to a level where there are no large objects, debris, or gritty material.